Welcome back to the Jeremy Hill Show. And I got a crazy subject for you. Some people might get mad. I don't care because I'm the realest one on YouTube right now. Ladies, I'm going to tell you right now. If you want to keep your man and he's a good man, you need to have threesomes with your man. Because having sex with you gets boring. That's just the truth of it. All that stuff about we can spice up our relationship, we can role play, that don't mean nothing if you've been doing that already. More of the same is not going to make things better for you and your man. Bring another woman into the bedroom for your man. Please him sexually. We need our sacks emptied. And we get tired of having one woman to empty our sacks because let me tell you why. We are not monogamous men. We are not monogamous by nature. It's hard for a man to be completely monogamous to one woman. Now, I'm talking about bringing women to the bedroom for your man. I'm not talking about on his birthdays. I ain't talking about holidays. I'm talking about throughout the year. It don't got to be every day, every week, every month. But bring some more women into the bedroom because men like variety. This is the reason why men is always mind. Our minds always wonder on other women. Our eyes are always wondering because our sexual nature is to be with women sexually, especially if they look good. Now, if you're a bisexual woman, I shouldn't even be talking about them. But if you are a bisexual woman, then you know you got to bring women in there. If you're going to enjoy a woman, let that man enjoy that woman with you. It's not cheating then if you're both sleeping with the same woman every now and then. Don't be one of these bisexual freaks that want their cake and eat it too. They want you for security, but then they want to have the other women on the side to please their sexual nature. No. As I said before, having sex with you over and over again is difficult because it's the same old, same old. You can hit different positions, you can do different things, but you're going to get tired of having sex with the same person day after day, month after month, years after years. So women, if you have a good man, if he is providing, if he is a genuinely good dude, why not bring another woman to him in the bedroom that bring him pleasure and you pleasure? Would you rather him go across the street to Shanae and Shaniqua and hit that behind your back? Or would you rather him have an open, transparent relationship and conversation with you and you both decide to go hit Shanae and Shaniqua? It, it, it's, it's up to you. Either you let this man have other women with you or most likely he gonna stray. And as a woman, you know that. How many men did you sleep with that already was in relationships? How many men have you been with, ladies, that was married or was engaged or had a girlfriend? Why did they step out on them? Because those men wanted variety. Just like you like variety of men. Just like you like looking at different types of men with different type of physiques. Just, just like how you like men with different size penises and stuff like that. Men like the same things. Men got dirty fantasies just like you got dirty fantasies. The thing is, men are more vocal and will tend to vocalize their desires more than a woman will because women still fear about people going to talk about me or they going to see me as a whore or a hoe. Men don't care. So I'm trying to break it to you. If you always wonder why my man cheating on me, maybe because you are not enough. Maybe because you are not doing what he asked you to do. He may be asking you to suck him up. He may be asking you to do this and that. And you like, I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. You're going to do it for me. And I ain't going to do it unless you do it. That tit for tat stuff. Trust me, there's always another woman that's going to do it for you when you ain't going to do it. So I'm telling you, don't be afraid to be a freak. Get on these apps. Get on these websites like adultfriendfinder.com and whatnot. Get on these type of apps looking for other women like that so that you and him can have a good sexual life and live your life happily because monogamy is a hard thing to be you can be monogamous but monogamy is a hard thing to have in today's world where everything is over sexualized the music is over sexualized every time you turn on a rap song with a woman and she talking about how she can suck how she can pop that how she can make a man bust and all this stuff and then you got these men that got music videos and songs like I'm under the influence and stuff. Everything's freaky and stuff. Everything's over sexualized. So how do you expect a man who is sexual by nature to just turn that off? You can't turn that off like a water faucet. You can't flip that off like a light switch. You knew your man was a freak when you got with him. And then things start to digress. The sexual things you do just gets slower and slower. You know why? 
is not as he's not as turned on as he used to be by you. Because now you done had that. He done conquered that. He done got some of that. Now a man wants something new. He might got some uh, feelings that he developed for you, which is genuine. But ladies, on some real stuff, if you you know what type of man out here, you know if you got a trash ass man or you got a good man out here, do what it takes to keep that man. You need to women need to have threes. I'm not saying become a, a part of the lifestyle, but if that's what you want to, hey, that's your prerogative. I ain't saying be a swinger, but if that's what you want, that's your prerogative. But I'm saying to you as a warning, if you don't start bringing women to that man's bedroom, then he's going to find a way to get a woman in that bedroom. And that bedroom doesn't necessarily have to be the bedroom in your house. It can be in a motel or her place because a man likes new stuff. He don't want to just keep looking at the same thing over and over again. You know, it just, it's just what it is. This is one of the reasons why men look for side chicks to please that part of their sexual nature. And unfortunately, a lot of you are still hard-headed and don't want to listen to this. I'm telling you how to keep your man. And any man that's watching this video know I'm telling the truth. There's not one man who's watching this video who has never thought about sleeping with another woman while he had a woman, married or not. And some men are just lucky to have women that have this good understanding and let this happen because they understand that sleeping with another woman doesn't mean nothing to another man. Sex is just sex. You can have a woman and be in love with that woman and still sleep with another woman and treat that sexual encounter like a man does Hennessy and wine and scotch. Sex is just a vice. In most cases, it doesn't mean that sex is something that man just, I love this woman because I don't have sex with this woman. Oh, I'm going to leave my woman. No. Sex is like how some women and some men enjoy weed, enjoy um, basketball. It's just a vice. It's some type of entertainment. So some men like that. It's just what it is. And you know if you got the type of man because if, if that man have come to you and told you how he felt about this and have told you how he feels and told you what his desires are, then that's that tells you right now what type of man you got. You see me doing this? I got ticks. I got a, little, a chronic tick uh, disorder. Don't keep me from getting women dope and dig. So, it just is what it is. So, I'm going to say it again. Women, especially if you're overweight, especially if you ain't got nothing going on for yourself in your life, especially if you don't have too much brain to the table, if that man chooses to be with you, let this man have threesome. You both turn that chick out. That's what you do. Stop trying to act like, I oh, my man, I'm, I don't share my man. And here it is, you share your your body with people, you share your time with people. What do you think all these Instagram things, you be on Instagram, and then all these men telling how pretty you look, and you liking it, or you just, not even you responding, but you're looking at it. You giving other men attention that deserve, that's supposed to be your man's attention. You giving your attention to other men that are not yours in your relationship. Now, a man like looking at flicks, a man like looking at naked pictures, a man like taking screenshots, whatever it may be, because that's what men do. Doesn't mean that that man going to cheat on you. You know what I mean? But a man is a freaky man. I'm going to tell you something. You're never going to get that out of his spirit. You're never going to get that out of that man's mind, that big breastesses, big butts, cute face, and sexy women. You're not going to get that out. He's always going to always be attracted to that. Even when he's 80 years old, he's still going to have that in him because that's, he had to have that in him before he got with you. So I'm going to say it again. You ladies need to give your man reason. It is what that is. And if you think this episode's crazy, then ooh, we wait till you see the next one. The Jeremy Hill Show.